BIOS or basic input output system is a program that is charged to start the computer system after it is powered on. It also manages the data flow between the computer's operating system and attached devices, such as the hard disk drive, the keyboard, the mouse, and printer. The BIOS software is a group of instructions. It performs a self-test called POST or Power on Self-Test that helps to verify the computer hardware. If the computer does not pass the POST, you will hear a combination of beeps that indicate what is malfunctioning in the computer. Hi again. So, in this lecture, I'm going to show you the place of the BIOS in the motherboard. So, as you can see here, this is the laptop motherboard. Okay? Here in the motherboard, we have always the CPU. This is the GMC head. Here we have the IC head or the sort bridge. Okay? So, always in the laptop motherboard, you should look for the Super IO. To is IO. So let's check here. We don't have the super IO. So let's check the other side. As you can see, here we have the is IO. This is the super IO, as you can see. So usually the BIOS chip is near to the is IO, to the super input output IC. Okay. So let's check here. We don't have the BIOS. So the BIOS should be in the other side of this of this IC. So let's check. So as you can see, this is the BIOS as you can see here. Okay. Let's check its reference. As you can see here, this is the BIOS reference. We have 25Q16BVS AG. 16 as you can see here, 16 means the capacity or the size of this BIOS is 60 megabit, means 2 megabytes, okay? Because 8 bit equal 1 byte, okay? So, 8 megabit equal 1 megabyte, okay? Why? Because 8 bit equal 1 byte. So, 16 bit will equal 2 byte. 32 bit will equal to 4 bytes and 64 bit will equal to 8 bytes. That's why when you find here, as you can see, between Q and F, 8 means the IC size is 1 megabyte. 16 means 2 megabytes. 32 means 4 megabytes and 64 means 8 megabytes. Always you should divide it by, by 8 as you can see. So always or usually you will find the BIOS near to the SIO super input IO or in the other side of this IC. Sometimes you can find the BIOS near to the IC hatch or to the third bridge. And sometimes we'll find that the IC hatch, the BIOS and the Super IO is near to each other. So let's check another motherboard. I will show you the BIOS in many motherboards in order to go deeper into understanding the working principle of the BIOS. Here, as you can see, we have another motherboard. So, this is the processor, as you can see here. So, the processor with the GMCH and also the graphic card. Here, we have just in this motherboard two chip, the big chip. This and this. So, this is the, the ICH or the third bridge that is responsible for all the connectors and ports. In the motherboard okay here this part is the, the, the CPU and here here we have the GMCH and the graphic card so the graphic card 
and the GMC head is integrated with the CPU, okay? Because this is a new motherboard. So let's check. Here we have the ICH as you can see, and here we have the Super IO as you can see. So we, I told you before that the BIOS should be always or usually near to the Super IO or to the ICH. So as you can see, this is the BIOS. You should distinguish between the BIOS and the MOSFET. Always the BIOS has a big chip than the MOSFET. Okay, so here we have the MOSFET as you can see, and here we have the BIOS. The BIOS is bigger than the MOSFET. And sometimes in some motherboards, you will find the BIOS with a mark, a color here, or a paint. Okay, so let's check the reference of this BIOS as you can see here. We have 25Q32, as you can see. So 25Q32, as you can see, BVSONG. So 32 means what? 32 megabit means 4 megabyte. Okay, 4 megabyte. Always you will find that the reference or the, the letter that is designed for the BIOS is U, exactly like an IC, because the BIOS is an IC, okay? So let's check another motherboard. So we will check also this motherboard. So as you can see here, here we have the processor, as you can see. Here we have the GMCH with the graphic card. So the graphic card integrated with the GMCH. Here we have the ICH or the third bridge. And here we have the ISIO or the Super IO. Okay, so the Super IO is the IC that is responsible for the power in the whole motherboard. Okay, so let's look for the BIOS. So as you can see, here we have the ICH, here we have the Super IO, and here we have the BIOS as you can see. So this is a MOSFET or a simple IC and this is the BIOS. Always the BIOS is greater or is bigger than MOSFETs and other ICs with 8 pins. Okay, so as and as you can see here, we have a color here. Okay, as you can see, this color means the BIOS. Okay, so here we have the three components are next to each other. So let's check another motherboard. So, as you can see here, also in this motherboard, we have the processor here, we have the GMCH, as you can see here. So, let's see the other side. So, in the other side, as you can see, we have the ICH, or the third bridge, and here we have the Super IO, as you can see. So, let's look for the BIOS. The BIOS should be next to the Search bridge or next to the SI. So let's check. So as you can see, here we have the super input output. Here we have the BIOS. Do you see the difference between BIOS and ICs or MOSFETs? Do you see the difference? Always the BIOS is bigger. So this is the BIOS. This BIOS, as you can see, it seems that this BIOS is already removed from the motherboard and raw program it. As you can see, here, this is a new solder. Here we have a flux. So, this BIOS is already reprogrammed. 